When I first started getting into the cloud backup and synchronization industry, Spider Oak was one of the providers that really stood out because back in 2012, they were the only ones taking privacy, well, seriously. Now, there are several other cloud storage companies that do a really great job at the privacy game, for example, sync.com. But still, Spider Oak offers its users a, what they call, zero knowledge guarantee and combines it with automatic cloud backup and file synchronization and sharing. I interviewed CEO Ethan Oberman back in the day and he personally told me that Spider Oak will essentially become more than just a storage and backup company. And in fact, today, in 2016, so four or five years later, they've rebranded Spider Oak into Spider Oak One and are developing a suite of tools geared towards individuals and companies with very high security requirements for sharing, collaboration, and backup. So, in this 2016 review of Spider Oak, we'll look at the pros on one side and also we're gonna look at the cons of this service so you can decide if it's something for you or not. Note that I've created a whole monster series on how to choose the best cloud backup service which you can access by clicking right here. There are literally dozens of videos that show you individual providers and also provide a lot of guidance um, along the way of choosing the best service and making the most out of your choice. So Spider Oak One gives users initially free two gigabytes of storage, which is just like Dropbox, but it's not forever free storage. It is limited to 60 days, which gives you plenty of time to play around with it. And paid plans start from $7 per month for 30 gigabytes. So they're clearly on the more expensive side for a consumer cloud backup and syncing. However, with services that have storage limitations, users can connect an unlimited amount of devices. So normally if you have an unlimited cloud backup service, you're limited to only one device. But if a provider limits the storage, then obviously you can connect an unlimited amount of devices as well. As mentioned earlier in the article or in this video, there is generally no real unlimited storage um, and unlimited devices combined because that would be too expensive for the providers. Spider Oak is available for all operating system, Macintosh, Windows, and Linux, plus uh, mobile apps for uh, Android and iOS as well. Now let's first look at some of the pros and then some of the cons of this service. First off, Spider Oak provides you with online backup, synchronization, and sharing all in one solution. They offer true zero knowledge privacy where the user, that is you, owns the encryption keys, which is extremely useful for very sensitive files. You'll get the ability to schedule backups, syncs, and shares. Also, you can set a private password for shared rooms where you can create folders and share that with your coworkers or friends and family. Unlike Dropbox, you can select any folder on the operating system for file synchronization because for, with Dropbox, you're always limited to the one Dropbox folder. On the flip side, Spider Oak's interface is a little bit of cluttered, though I believe it's an improvement to previous versions that I've observed. There's no real step-by-step -step wizard for initial backups, which can make it difficult for novice users. Also, I find the file and folder sharing is a little bit cumbersome if you compare it to other security-focused service, like for example, sync.com. As the free version only gives you two gigabytes of storage space, I took my credit card and signed up for the monthly plan, which gives me 30 gigabytes to play around with. Payments can be done via credit card, I think it's a Stripe integration, or via PayPal. And storage upgrades, if you need any, are basically processed immediately. So if you start with a two gigabytes version and see, hey, I like the service, I need more storage, you can just pay for it and you get the storage credited immediately to your account. As Spider Oak limits the amount of storage on the pay plans, users can connect an unlimited amount of machines to back up. So it could be a good solution if you, for example, had several computers in your office or at home, 
but only need to back up the most important files and folders, which wouldn't amount to as much total storage. For example, if it's only 50 or 100 gigabytes in total, you don't need a service that offers unlimited storage because, well, there's simply not, not too much storage that you need. I found the backup process a little bit confusing and it took a while until I had all my files selected for backup. Spider Oak transferred my 10 gigabytes test folder in four hours and nine minutes and handled large files pretty well. This gives a 5.3 megabit per second average transfer speed during the overall uploading process. Now, restoration with Spider Oak is a little bit confusing as well. There is no obvious restore button in the app, but you have to go into the Manage tab and select Files and Folders and then hit Download. So from that point forward, you can choose if you like to download to a specific folder on your computer or choose the standard Downloads folder. There is also no option to choose which versions you'd like to restore or to restore, for example, in the same file path as the original fold folder was located. That's very useful if you had a complete system meltdown and want to replicate all the folders originally on your new machine. But overall, file restoration was moderately fast. So should you go for Spider Oak? Of course, this really depends. Do you need top-notch security? And can you live with a few usability glitches here and there? Then, well, Spider Oak is a good bet. Overall, I really wish Spider Oak was a bit more user-friendly than I think I would recommend them more, especially when it comes to restoring different um, file versions or accessing files via the web or just managing backups into different backup sets, well, that's a little cumbersome. Spider Oak One combines backup with file sync and share, which makes it also a good all-in-one solution for people that are really looking to move away from Dropbox, but don't really like the idea or don't want to pay for two services that do either synchronization or backup. So I really hope you guys liked this review and obviously make sure to check out my other cloud backup service reviews here in this playlist so you can know exactly what you get before you buy. And also, if you like this video, hit the like button and most importantly, subscribe that you don't miss my videos. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe. Yeah.